Hi everyone, this is Sangeeta back again. Today I'm going to be making a, a, a banana flower cutlet. So this is what a banana flower looks like and uh, got to take that out like that. Do that. It's otherwise called Varipu cutlet in Tamil. It's, it's really, really good for your health and it's just tastes amazing and it's shallow fried. It's not deep fried. So what I do first is I, I um, clean this out. You have to remove the this part it's kind of like a stamen you got to remove that and there'll be at least uh, you know 10 of these bunches inside uh, each of the banana flowers and um, I've soaked um, about a cup and a half of uh, chana dal and with that I soaked uh, six uh, red chilies as well and first I'm going to uh, just cut this in the food processor for uh, cut the banana flower in the food processor I'm not just going to be using my knife for this it's a lot easier and it uh, it, it is more uh, homogenous that way and it's like less strain on my wrist I guess uh, and um, so I have here uh, the chana dal and about uh, six red chilies soaked and I'm going to be adding some uh, curry leaves uh, to that and um, salt of course and some asafoetida um, about a quarter teaspoon of asafoetida to that first i'm going to be uh, cleaning out the banana flower though so i'm going to clean out the banana flower and uh, grind it all up and then i'm going to be grinding this um, this uh, the chana dal um, and the red chilies and i'm going to make uh, balls out of it and i'm going to be steaming it and then i'm going to be um, shallow frying it i know it seems like a huge process but um, Trust me, it's not. It will get done in no time. And uh, it tastes really good. It's extremely good for health. It's really good for your kidneys and your liver and everything. So it's something which is made pretty often in my household. So you do that. And take this out. And I, I think like this is the one which grows up to uh, become banana. I'm, I'm not very sure. Um, so this has to be removed. And in some households, they remove this, uh, this part as well, but uh, this part here. So in ours, we don't. So it's fine. You can use it. Let's so just remove this, this part where it has like a little head. That is the part that has to be removed. So I uh, cleaned up uh, all the, uh, you know, the, the banana flower and I've added uh, about uh, uh, 25 curry leaves or so and I'm going to be adding up. So what would you, what you would generally do is like, you know, sometimes uh, uh, the banana flower would be actually bitter. At that point, um, you would uh, just um, actually without the curry leaves, you would actually cut the banana flower and then uh, boil it in a little bit of uh, uh, salted tamarind water or you could actually soak it in some buttermilk and uh, use it like um, after about 10-15 minutes or so and then you would uh, grind up this masala paste so but now like uh, I just tasted the banana flower it was not uh, bitter so I'm just going to be um, putting this uh, with the with the banana flour and I'm going to be grinding it and I'm not going to be uh, grinding it uh, into a very smooth paste it'll be a little coarse that's why I've got out the uh, food processor so I'm going to be uh, adding the chana dal, the red chilies, uh, the asafoetida and salt and um, the curry leaves of course and grinding it at everything together but first I'm just going to be uh, pulsing the banana flour and the curry leaves mixture. This is how it looks and I'm going to be adding the chana dal and the red chilies there and um, of course the salt and asafoetida will go in there as well uh, try not to add water or like if you really need to add water just minimum amount of water should be fine because if you add more water it's going to uh, uh, take longer to cook uh, and uh, you'll have to use more oil it kind of negates the point of uh, trying to eat healthy About a quarter spoon of uh, quarter to a third of a spoon of asafoetida and uh, 
the salt that is needed for this entire dish. Going to be uh, grinding this into a coarse paste. So I ground this up into a coarse paste, and as you can see, I added very, very less water because you don't want it to be watery. Just going to empty it all out here. It's just ba your basic purposely, but in a different form. And uh, it just looks uh, nicer and uh, just a fancy name that we get. You can also deep fry it, but we don't in our family. And when you deep fry it, it's, it will be called varipu vade at that point because it's deep fried, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make little balls like that. And I've already greased my idli steamer. Uh, the the Italy stand and I'm just going to be placing two in each and I'll be uh, steaming it for about uh, 15 minutes or so so I'm going to be uh, putting this in the steamer plate and uh, there's water underneath of course and I'm going to be steaming it for um, about 15 minutes and uh, once it's steamed I'm going to be shallow frying everything uh, so this is steamed as you can see color change. I have about um, six teaspoons of oil there. Separate it really, really gently. And lay it there. Oops. This is fully cooked at this point. So you just actually <clears throat> um, kind of uh, sauteing it. Be careful the water there. This is water from the steam. I got about 20 of uh, these balls, so it's quite a bit. And um, I would typically use like tongs to flip it around because I don't want to break those balls. And I'm going to steam it a little further so that um, they get uh, an all around uh, crunchiness. At the same time, uh, the insides will be nice and soft. So every two minutes, you have to flip it. And there. I'll always flip this. that you flip each and every one of those. It, it looks complicated, but trust me, it's, it's one of the easiest things that you'll make. Yes, there's a lot of vessels that will be involved, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, really easy. You can also make it in a paneeran pan or a api pan. Uh, just make smaller balls out of it and you'll be good. So I've already taken out a batch and now this is the second batch. This was fried in a total of six teaspoons of oil. You can see it's nicely browned up on top. There. There it is. Uh, you can have this with uh, plain um, tomato rasam, or you could have it, uh, you could actually uh, crumble this and have it with uh, rice and. Uh, just a dollop of ghee or some sesame oil um, or you could um, have it with uh, uh, more curd but just like a curry salt and curry like pretty much like you know this this dish is really really versatile you could have it any which way thanks once again for watching the making of uh, banana flour cutlets or uh, wire food cutlets please like subscribe and share and comment down below what you'd like me to make next thank you